something which I didn't actually realize is that um, there is time sensitive, your blood and platelets, so you have to use it within a certain amount yeah, of time. Yeah, so we have really strict criteria, especially around platelets, yes. to what to collect. So every donor center will have a target of what they want to collect in a week. Yes. So ideally, we'd, I think our target for APOS <laughs> So you is can't a, store is, it for like years and years or months No, and months. so platelets will only last for seven days. Wow. So these platelets will go back to the labs today, all the tests will be done and then they'll potentially be, if need be, they'll be issued tomorrow. So yes. that leaves six days. Yes. So if the hospitals don't use them in six days, they would waste because yeah. the platelets don't do their job long right. enough. They'll only do their job for a few days outside the body. Yeah. And you'd say generally there's a shortage of it rather than a waste of it. Scenario. Yes, the wastage is really, really closely, closely monitored. Yes. So, like I said, we have a specific target for how many doses right. of platelets to collect, okay. so that the A platelets can go to more donors than the O platelets. So okay. we have a higher target for for the A's. But it's really carefully maintained, and literally, right. we get an email every other day saying, right, we need an extra four O neg four. Yeah. Well, it's normally yeah. more than four, 15 yeah. maybe A's this yeah, week. Absolutely. So we try and spread out our collection. So rather than collecting yeah. all our O's on a Monday yes. and then they're expired by the next Monday, try yeah. and spread them out. So you've got a constant, constant um, supply yeah. to, to meet that demand.